Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are playing the second battle of Manassas on Grand Tactician the Civil War. We are playing as a Confederate, so we are going to be bringing General Robert E. Lee into battle with Stonewall Jackson, James Longstreet, and Jeb Stewart. Powerhouses all. We are going to be going up against Polk, John Polk, Franz Siegel, Irving McDowell, Heinzelman, and Jesse Reno. Second Battle of Manassas, or Bull Run, depending on which side of the street you live on. August 28th, 1862. Uh, so the gist of the battle is McClellan was fired because he was too timid in the Peninsula Campaign. James K. Polk took over, or John Polk, sorry. Uh, during the month of August, the two armies fought several minor engagements along the Rappahannock where Polk placed his line of defense. Lee decided to cut Polk's communication by turning his right flank. General Thomas Stonewall Jackson managed to go around Polk's flank via thoroughfare gap, cutting the vital Orange and Alexandria railroads and destroying a large supply depot at Manassas Junction. I guess that would be this guy right here, Longstreet Jackson. Or maybe it's this guy. Then Jackson marched to the site of the first major battle of the Civil War, Bull Run, and deployed his corps in defensive positions behind an unfinished railroad cut. Pope, re Pope realized he is flanked, started to move towards Washington, D.C. During this move on August 28th, General Rufus King's division marched east along Warrentown Turnpike towards Centerville. When at Grovetown, they ran into Jackson's corps. Pope sees Jackson alone, and his corps appears to be trapped. A swift and decisive blow would destroy Jackson and effectively the Army of Northern Virginia as well. So we're going to try and not let that happen and get into the battle, the Second Battle of Manassas. Alright, so we are outnumbered in this battle slightly. Uh, right now it's listing as being a minor victory. Uh, he definitely doesn't have his full force on the field yet. Uh, dispatch of 27th received. Congratulations. Congratulate you upon... Res whatever. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Union Army under General Pope is estimated 50,000 strong with a mission to protect Washington and Shenandoah Valleys. General Jackson is to defend his position below Stony Ridge and prevent enemy movement east Long Warrentown Turnpike. General Longstreet must break enemy resistance and march through Thoroughfare Gap to join Jackson on the Manassas battlefield. General Pope's line of communication to Washington is to be cut and his army destroyed to prevent Union armies from joining forces to take Richmond. Hey, attack the enemy. Stone Bridge, Warrentown Turnpike, Henry Hill. Uh, Groveton is right here. Uh, we do have some uh, forces right down here along the uh, Warrington Turnpike, as they said. Um, here's the unfinished railroad. We hold this one. Shouldn't be too much of an issue to take this one here. Let's uh, take a look at... I can never figure out what the... Let's see here, Army of Northern Virginia. Hmm. So these episodes, uh, the bigger battles are going to be kind of long. If you would prefer me to split them into smaller uh, videos, just leave a comment down below and I can do that. Uh, long Street, scheduled... For approximately 36 hours. Wow, that's a ways. So basically it's just uh, 22,009 from here under Jackson. When Stuart's supposed to be getting here? 30 hours. Wow, okay. Well, let's see what we can do with Jackson then. Jackson's division. There's Jackson right there. We also have Lee on the field of battle. 
Hill's division. Okay. AP Hill. All right, let's take a look and see what we have here. I'm supposed to be defending my position along the uh, unfinished railroad cut. Let's uh, go to single line. Go to long range. We'll keep these guys in the double line for now. Uh, we are up against a Union force down here. Let's see, how do I want to work this? We're going to bring Talaferro down. We're going to have Jackson come with him, and we'll have Lee kind of stay in the middle. Uh, we're going to have you. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We're going to have you come out into this field here. Hopefully that should give us some decent line of sight for our guns. Oh, we got Ewell, Ewell's division. Um, 6,700. Uh, we'll have Ewell come down here like this. To face these guys. And then Jackson. I'm going to move you right into the middle here. And depending on how things go from here. You could just push down this way push down on the uh, objectives that's my goal anyway so let's uh, push play out is six o'clock at night so odds are we are going to uh, probably go into the second day I'm actually Never seen a second day on these historical battles, so get the skirmishers out. Our guns up here are already opening up, which is a good thing. Uh, looks like Lee needs to uh, move a little closer to the center of the battlefield here. Oh my god, what did I just do? Get rid of that. Lee, I think I hit the wrong button for Lee. Alright, Lee, come on down. Hopefully that didn't just send everybody where I don't want them. I think it did. Yeah, yeah it kind of did. We're going to have to readjust again. All right, they're moving their skirmishers out. They're coming up along this railroad. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. They're going to move you out over here a little bit. Okay, looks like they're starting to come around us. Second Brigade with 1,300. And have our skirmishers come down here, kind of hold the line over here. And we'll re 
readjust as needed. I don't want that whole brigade. I just want your skirmishers. There's his detachment there. Like they're leaving. Right. Well, if they leave, they leave. That's great. It really does look like he's leaving. Unless he's just forming up over here. Not really sure why he would do that, though. Unless it's just to offer a kind of a distraction. Uh, let's get our guns positioned. That's a good spot for them. Right, they are starting to come up. Hayes' brigade, Early's brigade. <coughs> We're gonna march right, right past our uh, our whole force here. Get you lined up like this. Infield rifled muskets, 400 yard range. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna bring our bring you over here if they're gonna pull some shenanigans like that we can come up to meet them All right that's a hell of a long range we have on these weapons okay. have you come down here I'll have you take up position right there Trimble's got a smaller brigade so our guns let's have our guns set right out here all right They are kind of moving over in this general direction, so that'll give us some time to get our guys into a uh, into position. Double day is standing toe to toe with a lot of skirmisher units plus uh, a couple br full brigades. Skirmishers up front and start moving our brigades. Okay, well, that didn't go too bad. All right, let's bring skirmishers. Depending on what they do, it looks like they're coming at us from this side, so start bringing our skirmishers over here. you up 
here. He's still marching to get into position. Uh, the Enfield rifles aren't going to do you much good if you're in woods, but still nice to have. Alright, we'll bring you up here. Kind of complete our line somewhat like that. Here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to reposition our guns again. Right, everyone's moving. Look at the range on these. Okay. I think they're about in position here, Jackson's division. So we're going to push you up. Get you up on this road here. doing and yeah oh looks like all but one of our skirmisher units is so we're gonna bring you down here guns are still moving into position Black Hats Brigade. This guy's taken a lot of he's about to go, so I'm gonna have him pull back. He's gonna come up and take the fight to the Black Hats. Buford coming in with his cavalry. You know, our guys got to get get moving here. Come on, boys. Looks like Trimble broke. Yep. Have him rally. I don't know if it's going to do any good with the losses that he suffered. Alright. Guns would get into a uh, position a little faster here. Push you over the river a little bit. But I ordered you to come down here. These brigades are just taking a lot of casualties. Uh, Buford's sitting on the objective. He just took it. <laughs> I 
many men does Buford have with him? 2,000? That's quite a bit of it. Alright, once we get our guns in the position where they can actually fire. We're already running low on ammo. 11 rounds for our skirmishers, 10 rounds, 29 rounds. I'm going to recall some of our skirmishers here. Trimble's detachment. Trimble's already off the field. Uh-oh. Hayes' brigade broke. Losing men. You hit him. That's what I want to do with our guns. Get them up here. these guys. We only got eight rounds left. Get Early's detachment pulled up a little bit. Sound the double time. These guys in the position. Ewell's division's taking a pounding over there. There's another one that's broken. We've got one brigade and three skirmisher units. All right, call back your skirmishers. And today, troops have been resupplied. Fantastic. Deployment. Deploy your forces for battle. When finished, press pl <coughs> play. All right, so we could actually deploy our guys now. That's kind of cool. We've got a force down here. Uh, all right. How are our skirmishers doing down here? 27 for a brigade. All our skirmishers are gone. Lawton's brigade. All right, so we're going to pull them back a little bit.
So we can pull them over here. Or we can keep them down there. I think we got the rest of our men back. That's cool. Okay, Stonewall's Brigade. Uh, Stonewall's Division. Have you set up like that? Let's go to a single line. Do that. Okay, you will. Right, Hill. It's, it's like that unfinished railroad cut that they're talking about. Have you deployed down here? Like this. Um, all right, my plan is to finish off this group here, if possible, um, and then kind of swing around to take on this main force right here. Let's see what we got. 9.9%. 9 .9%. We actually have uh, more casualties than they do. Uh, Longstreet is 10 hours out. Stewart is 18 hours out, so we're still fighting alone. Basically. Okay, so... If we can manage to deal with this here and get set up kind of in a, a line like this, I'm willing to sit and wait for Longstreet to come in with fresh troops. Uh, one thing that is kind of concerning to me is this an entry point right here for the, uh, for the Federals. So we're going to detach some skirmishers from Jubal early here. And we're going to send them right over here to, well, now it says it's red. Is it, it's either red or blue. Come on, guys. Well, we've taken it anyway, so. Uh, No, I don't know if I want his skirmishers out there or not. Well, good position for our guns to be. We can see everything but the uh, Union here. There we go. Be able to fire on them. Actually, pull your skirmishers back. Guess we can't. 
Well, now he is. Okay. Thought that went back to blue. Maybe not. So we can... Do a little more precise deployment here. So we are going to have two of our brigades over here come in on this uh, force that's sitting here. Lawton's Brigade. We'll have them sit in the back as a reserve, I guess, considering the casualties they've taken. artillery here get some line of sight on that cavalry that's uh, sitting in that house Okay. Artillery up over here on this hill. Uh, let's see. bit make room for this uh br these two brigades here doesn't look like you're in long range but they are all right all the force we got over here Is Lawton's detachment. You up. You up. Hill right up in there. Okay, so they redeployed. Which sucks. <laughs> that was uh not exactly what I wanted for my efforts.
Okay, so one at a time, we're gonna bring everybody down like this. I forgot about that hole, they don't move until, uh... So you actually end your deployment. Minor oversight on my part. <clears throat> Says he's broken. We'll keep him here in reserve. Button. PP right down here as well. And now we're right up in front of them. Now the good thing is, artillery has some nice vantage point. But we are kind of outnumbered on our left here. Okay, so I'm falling these guys back. All right, very unfortunate turn of events here. They should have known. Come up over here. Rumble's Brigade. Right. with this cavalry real quick. We have to hold out till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so somehow I doubt that's actually going to happen. Hayes' brigade is broken. I'm going to... We'll just do that. No, it's not going to do anything, but... McDowell coming in right into the middle of our group. 
Roveton is taken. Macintosh losing men. Second battery. Or battery that's way out there on the on our left. They're starting to come at us. First brigade with fifteen hundred. Trying to pull him back. Oh, there goes uh, Buford. Let's pause for a second. Try and reorganize our line a little bit here. All right, let's let it play out. They're hitting us over here. Our left. Really interesting how this guy just sort of rode right through our yard, our lines. All right, let's get the these batteries up here. Hmm. Not sure where that brigade went that was over here, but let's get these guys rallied. Oh, there they are right there. 1500 men are going to be joined by 2nd Brigade with 1100.
Uh, we're going to move you up here as well. Alright, so once all these guys get into position, which it looks like they're doing a fairly good job at doing... Okay, Johnston. Um, I'm trying to think of where what I want to do with these guys if I want to come down to the south with them. They'd be attacking uphill if they came this way. Or no, with their on. all our guns out front. Well, they do have fairly good line of sight over here. All right, we're going to have to do something here. to pause and look this over real quick if we bring them down here they're going to be attacking uphill and there is more of a concentration up here I think either way they're going to be attacking uphill and it does look like they're starting to do something over on this flank here All right, we're going to detach these two. And then send them up here. Have one of them go over here. And then the other one come right in here. And bring these guys over here. Rumble's taking a lot of casualties. I'm going to have him come right here just as a kind of a last ditch reserve I guess and the Louisiana Bra Brigade have you come down here uh, meanwhile, you will you have to get up closer there. Like they're going around to try and capture this uh this objective. We're gonna have to start pushing up a little bit on them. It's wavering back to on to minor defeat here. Uh, we're at twelve percent. They're at ten. We've got one thousand one left field.
here. I have you detach some skirmishers. Push you up to the road. Ambrose Brigade. Move you up here. Branch. Get you up. Pender. Start moving guys up on top of this hill. Probably should wait for uh rest of these guys to get in position, but kind of feel a little sense of urgency in order to have these guys not just taking losses. I really do wish I was a more patient person to sit back and wait for Long Street. <clears throat> capture some guns and out a detachment to capture some guns they were coming at us here that's a just a detachment no it's not it can't be They're starting to come down the road, it looks. And capture, maybe they're capturing these guns. They are. We just took a face full of canister fire. guys do the same but I sent you out to it get some guns here now yeah, maybe they didn't want to Exhausted. You guys aren't doing too bad. They haven't started moving on us yet, so that's a good thing. Eight hours. Brigades. And he's broken.
taking more casualties than that, you would think. These guys are actually moving into position pretty good. Trimble's in reserve. These guys are taking a little bit of time, but that's all right. He's broken. I think that's the skirmishers. Yeah, that's a detachment. <coughs> Second Brigade's all on their own out there. Let's give them an order to attack. start moving these guys forward. Get them across the creek. Gotta move. Starting to slide the wrong direction. Some cavalry. 2,500 cavalry, to be exact. We want our guns to fire on that cavalry there. These guys up over here. Oh, looks like they're coming kind of in force here. They're coming down to meet us. Independent Brigade 2300.
you moved up, you can fight still. Second brigade's coming in on us. Wish these guys would move. We're at 14.9, they're at 14.4. Archer vs. Brigade. Uh, you can actually come up over here. And it does look like they're starting to make a push. And that would be a bad idea to fall back here. Independent Brigade is uh, holding pretty firm. Right there we broke uh, one of their smaller brigades. Let's move in on 2nd Brigade, take up the fence line. A lot of fire being exchanged right there. Push you up. Bring you up over here. Throw up over here. Trimble's still uh, coming into position here. Have him come up over here. Right, we're not doing too bad over here. Archer's Brigade looks like they're, uh... Let's rally them. Looks like our artillery recovered over here. And we've got two, uh... Two infantry brigades. Trimble's detachment, and then Lawton's detachment. These are skirmishers. Uh, let's pause. Let's get Trimble's detachment. We do have a artillery battalion just sort of sitting out here. 
It'll take them a while to get up there. May send them after that those guns, depending on how things go out here. Anyone else just kind of hanging out in the rear? Nope. How about Longstreet? How is he doing? Seven hours. Whoops. Gosh, what the hell am I? There we go. So we've got a decent line. Alright, these guys are starting to waver. So let's actually move you up. And get you guys up on this side of the river. Hmm. Change of plans. Bring you over here. up over on this side of the river. Let's get you moving. Everyone else is doing what I want them to. Uh, even Trimble's moving. Got artillery back here. Bring them up. Someone broke over here. Did we, who did we lose here? Anderson's Brigade. Did you rally? So we'll bring Lawton up. He's not going to last. These guys really got to start moving up. Want you to move up. Cavalry's causing us a hell of a lot of problems over here. <clears throat> Sitting up on the hill like that and they're retreating. Okay. Now we have 50, 53 minutes. Actually, just give the order to attack these guns. I give you the order to attack them. You're moving up. They are still within range, so move you up. It's a major victory now. Ah, oh, we didn't even need Long Street. What of it? Trimble, you did a good job not dying. And we need you over here.
These guys did a pretty good job over here, too. They're in melee for some reason. I'm not really sure why. still hasn't moved. Probably because his commander is so far away can't get the order to him. Alright. He's broken. And so the last thing I want to do is charge my guys in and have this go from a major victory to anything else. But I am gonna press the attack a little bit here. Here's Buford. You won't worry about Buford for now. Let's get you up on these guns. you up on these guns. We're going to have you keep pressing up over the hill. Like that. Oh, here's our skirmishers. Actually, skirmishers attack. do anything. That's fine. We'll have him hit these guns as well. you in order to attack, attack, Johnson losing men, all our commanders are powwowing back here, as well they should. Archer losing men. Here's these these guns here. Should be in a pretty good position to fire on someone over here. But hey here. These guys are wavering. I don't know why it says they're in melee. Six hours for Long Street. He's gonna come here with nothing to do. Okay, these guys broke.
Wow, we're up to 22%. We'll bring our skirmishers down here to hit him. They don't seem to want to move though, so I guess I'll just stay there and watch the show. Archer's Brigade. Oh, what's going on on the south? I forgot all about this. Have you hit those guns? You can hit those guns too. Come up and hit him. Louisiana break brigade. Whoops, shit. Come up and hit him. Got a lot of decent line here. We're still trying to get into position, end of the battle. There's the black hats from the first day. They're still alive. Oh, he broke. I got this artillery out here. I don't know why these skirmishers aren't attacking them. Ah, uh, three minutes. And he's breaking. I don't think I'm going to get too wild with the uh, inv any more advancing. I think we'll just let it play out as, as we have. Took the fight to him right on Henry Hill. We never took the objective, but... We did take uh, this one and this one. One of them we already had, so it's nothing to brag about. Baylor low on ammunition. Early's low on ammunition. And that's that. Major Confederate victory. <clears throat> 8,000 out of 68,000. We had uh, 5,691 out of 56,122. Let's, uh... There we go. Just gotta do that first. Here we go. Second Manassas. We get our revenge. Alright, after this it's Antietam. Well, where we are more than two to one. Or roughly two to one. So... Union strategic victory. Uh, we're going to have Lee, there's McClellan, Hooker, Sumner, Porter, Franklin, Burnside, Mansfield, and we've got Longstreet. Maybe it'll actually show up this time. Stonewall, Jeb, and Pendleton. So that will be for our next episode the Battle of Antietam. If you like this one, hit the like button. Uh, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. Also, if you uh, want a shorter episode, I can start splitting these uh, bigger battles up so they're not running hour and a half or so. If you want to have me leave them as one single battle, then I will do that. Uh, so just let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you for the Battle of Antietam. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to follow along. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and... Have yourself a very good day.